We're very excited to be here today to hear uh, Professor Cynthia McDougall of York University talking about the research they've been doing into the use of prisoner self-service. We're also going to be hearing from Graham Hawkins, who's the governor of HMP ISIS, talking about their use of the product for the last few years. I'm here today to talk about evaluating the self-service technology in prisons and this is the first piece of research I understand that's been done on self-service in prisons and I was very pleased to get the opportunity to do it. It's one of these things that affects us all. We all have to deal with the increasing amount of technology that's around in the world but this is a system that would be there, would be used daily by offenders and if it's of benefit to them that they're learning life skills from this system, then it would benefit a wide number of prisoners with very little effort. I intend to talk today about how the use of technology in the prison has supported the way in which staff and offenders manage the day-to-day -day business within the prison. So for staff, we've reduced the paper transactions. For prisoners, we've created the opportunity for them to take control of their lives. The interesting part about technology is that it moves very, very quickly. If we don't get together and talk amongst ourselves, we'll never change for the better. We've just finished our Salon on Technology in Prisons. It's been a huge success. And now uh, we are packing up and heading up to Edinburgh to talk to the Scottish Prison Service. It's certainly been a really fascinating day uh, with some really senior people from the offender management community uh, down here in London. So uh, we're ready to go.